fell so hard he lost his shoe. Shoe went out. All right, guys, we are here today with Pedro, and he is the foremost professional skateboarder from uh, East 14. East 14th Street. Let's go, yeah. East 14th Street Skate Gang. We're gonna teach you some tricks, mm -hmm. or maybe at least one trick today. Yeah. So how long have you been skating for? Probably like six months, too. Six months, nice. So start out by showing me riding around, show me all the tricks that you know so far. And I you, don't know any tricks. You don't know any nah. tricks? What? I nah. thought you are a professional skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm a poser. You're not a poser. You're not a poser. Oh, show me what you got. I've seen you riding. All the, they just start skateboarding, they can all throw their board down. Pedro in the house, first try. Good, good, good. Give that a push. Nice, good. You can lead with your upper body. Put your upper body where you want to go in the direction of, and then your legs will follow. Okay. Have you ever tried an ollie? Sometimes. Yeah. But I never landed one. So you never landed an ollie? No. You never landed a shove it. How about, have you done a kick turn on a bank? No. Okay, how about a kick turn on flat? No. Let's start there. Okay. Okay, so put your both your feet on the board. This one I think I can actually show you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate here a minute. Yes, uh -huh. for those of you who have not known, I graduated into shoes. I do have a broken foot. I'm not supposed to skateboard. Please do not tell my doctor. Upper body first. Upper body's gonna turn and then your lower body will follow. But you're gonna start out with just those smallest little, just motions like this, right? Uh -huh. When you're standing on your board, be on the ball of your feet. That's kind of like a good thing to learn, just we're riding it in general. Uh -huh. You know what I mean by the ball of your foot? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Like uh, this part. So start by just literally standing on the board and just going, just slightest motions, and then we're gonna put some turns in there, yeah? Good, just a little bit. Good. It's gonna help you a lot to bend those knees. Good. Good. Is that sketchy? Kinda. Yeah? yeah? What's scary about it? I just don't want to fall. Yeah, I don't yeah. want you to fall either. <laughs> the other thing is, more your knees are bent. So uh -huh. let's say you do fall, you want to have your arms out. Uh -huh. And if you do fall and your knees are bent, look at how much closer to the ground you are. You'll just basically sit down. Okay. But if your knees are straight like this, you're like a tree toppling over. Okay. Okay, just little motions. Good. That's good, Pedro. Let's go. Good. Now we're gonna do even more of a like turn your upper body, okay. then your feet. Okay. One, two. Upper so, body is one. Feet is two. Okay, ready? I think. I think okay, so. here I got you. Put your back foot on. Upper body one. Turn. Oh good. crap! You don't need to do a whole 180. Okay. Just do it like a like to there maybe. Ready? One. Okay, good. 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 You got that. Good, look at that. Let's go, Pedro. First try. <laughs> good, this is called, this is called a backside kick turn. Do it again. Okay. You feel good about that? I think. Bend your knees more. Lead with your upper body always. So upper body, bend your knees, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Upper body first, then feet. Good. 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 So the more you skate and the more you're on your board, the less like uh, shaky you will be. You seem a little nervous, like a little shaky on the legs, which means all it is is a lot of practice. So when I say like you skate to the store, skate to school, just have this board with you, uh -huh. skate everywhere. You'll get less shaky, you'll get more confident, you'll get more comfortable. Now we're gonna do a full 90 degree turn. Wait. Ready? Oh, that was almost whole 180. We're gonna do half of that. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, you got it. You want me to help or no? Okay, yeah. yeah. Good, again. Good. Now, do it on your own. Good. One more. Good. You got that. That's really good. Now, you know what's next? What's next? Whole 180. Okay. So a whole 180, you really got to turn your upper body, then your legs. Getting used to that motion, upper body first, then legs will help you a lot. See okay. if you can do a whole 180. Yeah. Is that scary? I mean, not really, but like, I don't know. It's just, I think I got it. Yeah, I think you got it too. Oh. Let's go, Pedro! Yeah! Oh. Okay, now land it. Yeah, oh. you're good. Okay, upper body, boom, uh -huh. then feet. I realized something that will also help you out a little bit. So when you're first standing, you can do a little wind up, right? Uh -huh. So do a little wind up and then turn. Oh, no. Good. That was good. It actually looks pretty good. 
For body, turn. Oh! oh! Let's go, Pedro! Jeez! <laughs> you know what I what I ultimately want to do, which this might be like way too hard. Uh huh. I want to do that on a bank. Is that like so scary? Yeah, yeah, kind of. You yeah. need a helmet. Probably. Yeah, probably. Okay, okay. Maybe the bank is too much. One day. One day. One day? Like in a week? Here's what you do. You have to practice this every day. Okay. If you even just spend 10 minutes on your board, just go out, ride around for three minutes, and then do those practice steps that I gave you, uh -huh. and then do the full 180. Do it every day, and by next week, you will have improved so much. Okay. Okay, do the 180 kick turn again. Good. Oh. Good. Oh. Hey, that's good. It's gonna help you a lot to bend your knees, Pedro. I always forget to like bend my knees. When yeah, I you do. When I do stuff. Yeah, it's common with beginner skateboarders, and I feel like you you probably feel like you're bending your knees, and then you're not. I'm gonna show you. Show okay. you the video. Oh. Okay, that was good. Here, let's watch this. Turn your upper body. Your feet turn around. Just leave it on there. You're good. Okay. And watch your back foot bails. You know what we call that? What? Chicken foot. <laughs> Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. What happened? I don't know. I just like, I keep losing my balance. Bend your knees, upper body leads, then the legs follow. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Let's go, Pedro. Yeah, that was good. Try, keep trying it. I think what I want to have you do mm -hmm. is now we're going to do just a little bit the other direction. Not a full so, 180. Yeah, so that way. But really bend your knees. This one can really throw your balance off because your head and shoulders are a little bit awkward on this. Just try the other direction. Good. Yeah, just little motions like that. Now do it again until you do all the way around. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, good. Keep going. Bend those knees. He's bending down like he's okay. about to do like a hard flip. Like he's ready to just like pop the giant as like Ollie. So you're gonna practice that. And then what I want to get you up to is what's called a tic-tac. You know oh, what that tic -tac, is? Oh, tic-tac, yeah, like. Yeah. But I'd like to see if we can get you to a point where you can stand still and move a little bit. These skills, like if you build all these skills right now, you'll get so comfortable that then when it comes to the tricks, you'll be just getting tricks like that. And you'll surpass all your friends, you'll be able to beat them all in a game of skate. <laughs> good. Good. Yeah, that's good. You're getting it. Upper body turns, upper body turns. Upper body turns, the upper body always leads. Good, back. Good, that's good. Tic tac, first try. So you're gonna start right here, and then you're gonna go Tic tac across that line. Upper body, then legs. Upper body, legs. Good. Again, 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 again. Oh, let's go, boy. All right, good. Keep going. Bend the knees. Lead with the upper body. There you go. Oh, Come on, good. you got this. I had that. Yeah, you got it. Now, do a little push and then do a couple tic tacs after your push. Yeah, good, good. So just from seeing your skate at the beginning of the video to now, your balance has improved, you look more comfortable. It's better, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Do it again. You got it, boy! Man, I wish I had a helmet for you. The bank's probably scary, huh? Have you ever Kinda. rolled down the bank? No, but I rolled down some stuff. Yeah? You know? Yeah. Because that's another thing you can do to help get yourself comfortable. Rolling down banks, ride up banks. I'm trying to think of what else I can teach you. I was thinking maybe like a 180 pivot rolling fakie. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. <laughs> Just kidding. You know what it is. So like, you're rolling like this way. Uh-huh. Oh, so like move it like that? That's right. When you and my my pushing foot stands on the your back foot. Nose? Oh yeah, yeah, the back foot. So back foot going that way. That's a stance that we call fakie. Oh yeah, I know that. I can help you. Put your feet on there, and I'll help you with a little push. So stand just how you normally skate. Now you're gonna do the kick turn. Upper body first, then 180. Ready? Go. Good. That was good though. You got that. Ready? Yeah. Kick turn. Oh. What I see you doing is you're trying to move your feet, then your upper body. Remember? Your upper body like really lead with it. Okay, okay. And on this one especially because you're almost like stepping like that. You can practice it with off the board. 
Like that? Yeah, exactly. But even emphasize more like upper body and then back, back. Like yeah, that? that's right. You look like you're in the ring about to like. Play! <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Okay, you ready? Let me yeah. give you a push, you're gonna run it. You ready? Yeah. And go. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm good. Fell so hard he lost his shoe. <laughs> shoe went out. That's good though. You got it. You can start out with just a 90. So just go like this, upper body, then just 90, okay? Okay. And I'll push you less fast. 90. Boom! Keep your knees bent. It'll help you a lot. 90. Good. That's pretty much, and I mean, that's probably as good as you're going to get on the 90. Now, full 180. Okay, ready? Full 180. Remember your upper body turns, then your feet. Go. That's uh, good. And That's sticky. Good. Are you getting nervous? Kind of. Why? I don't know. Why are you nervous? I don't know. You got nothing to lose. You're not going to fall. You already fell and lost your shoe. That's not going to happen <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, I'm, I can't sticky. Lift your board up a little bit more. Let's go, Pedro. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold this hand and then you're going to you're going to turn and I'll I'll be in front of you so I can like hold you up on it. Okay. And don't bail. Ready? And turn. You got it. You got it, right? I think but I kind of I kind of like failed. <laughs> <laughs> you did not fail. You did not fail, bro. You got it. You're not a poser. Pedro just gotta keep those knees bent. Close to the ground. Ah. I think you're um you're kind of like going so far forward that you're sort of just like ejecting yourself uh -huh. off. Keep your weight centered on the board and just like your, your pivot point is from here. So you can even practice that off the board. To do that. Let me see with no board. Good, now don't like throw your upper body so far. Uh -huh. Leave your weight over this foot. Okay. Or sorry, wrong foot, this foot. Okay. Do it Ready. again. Does that feel better? Yeah. Your, your weight really needs to be centered on that foot. Otherwise, you're just sort of like going Wah! and ejecting yourself out. To me, this is easier with a little bit of motion. Go. Ah, oh, no. Let me show you one. So all my weight on this back foot, turn upper body. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Run it. Oh! oh. Let's go! Ah. Ah. Now do it again. Uh -huh. Don't step off. And remember guys, vote for Pedro. Okay, stand on there. I'm gonna give you a little push. You're gonna do it. Full 180. First try. Right here, Jamba Juice. Oh, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Stay on there, Pedro! You were swimming. You went swimming. <laughs> you have it. Just stay on there. Okay. This is a key point. Your weight, all your weight over that pivot foot, and just keep your weight centered and balanced. Ready? Yeah. Go. Good. Let's go. All right, that was good. Okay, so you got backside kick turn. You got some frontside kick turn. You got the tic tac. Mm -hmm. You got the fakey 180 pivot. Very well done. Now you got to tell them what they can do to learn how to ride a skateboard. Don't be nervous about anything because if you fall, you just fall, you just get back up. And always keep your knees bent and like that. That really helped me a lot. That's right. Now you guys know. Get out there and ride a skateboard. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment below. And you, yes, you, learn to ride a skateboard. We got everything you need at braillskateboarding.com.